Kailu Wellness Retreat. My name is Calliope, and I'm going to be performing your treatment today. How are you doing today? Okay. Well, I hope by the time you leave our clinic today, you will feel even just the littlest bit better. Okay? Alright. So, it looks like today we are doing an auricular therapy treatment today, is that correct? Okay, would you mind if I just grab your name real quick? Okay, wonderful. And is that the name you prefer to go by? Okay, excellent. Alrighty, so, do you know anything? Are you acquainted with auricular therapy at all? Okay. If you like, I can explain a bit to you before we begin. Alright. So, auricular therapy obviously corresponds to the ears, and it's quite similar to, say, ear acupuncture or reflexology, but there are some key differences. So, with our auricular therapy treatment today, we're not going to be using any needles as one would use in ear acupuncture. And we won't be massaging the ear necessarily as one would do in reflexology. So, I'm going to show you a little chart of the ear. So, this is our little drawing here, very small. All of our characters here are in Chinese, but this is like a reflexology zone map. So, a lot of the principles are the same. A lot of the locations are the same. So, if you imagine a baby, a fetus, turned upside down. So, you have the head here, and then you have the body here. Then that's... That's a good picture of how the zones are distributed along the ear. So a lot of your head points are around here, some of your, your face points, like different parts of your, your face, your mouth, your nose, your eyes are in here. You have your, your spine right in here, the arms and the fingers along here. You have like your, your heart and your lungs, your digestive system in here. So, all these little bits correspond to different parts of your body, starting with your head at the lobe and working towards, working down your body towards the top here. So, in reflexology, we would be palpating all of these different points and giving you what feels like a massage. And in auricular therapy, we're going to be targeting these spots. So, I'll use a little tool to just feel around the different spots, to see if there's any pain, any tenderness, any sort of reaction that might lead us to believe you may have an issue or a deficiency in an area. And then we'll use some ear seeds, which will just it's like a little, a little ball on a piece of tape, essentially, and we'll put it on a point, and essentially it keeps that point stimulated, and they fall off within three to seven days or so, and they just keep stimulating that point for you. So, it's very similar to acupuncture or reflexology, but there are a few, a few key differences. So, you have any questions so far? Okay. Alright, so let me go ahead and just clean my hands real quick. And would you mind just telling me if you have any concerns or anything that you want me to look for in your reflexology treatment today? Or your auricular therapy treatment, rather? Okay. So you've been having some 
some problems sleeping and some issues with stress. Okay, yeah, we can certainly, we can certainly look at treating that today. So, let me clean my hands. Sanitize my hands and then we will sanitize your ears. So this is helpful just to make sure our surface area is clean, but also because when we put on our ear seeds, it's going to clear away any of the natural oils that accumulate on your skin so that they have something better to grip onto. Okay? Alright, so... For our treatment today, I will need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Do I have your permission to do that? Okay, wonderful. So, I just want to, to go ahead and clean your ears, and then we're going to take just a little inspection. So, let's see. We've got our solution here. And then I'm just going to be grabbing some tissue here. So this is just an alcohol solution that I'm just going to be wiping on your ears, okay? Alright, so this will feel a little cold. Okay, so far. I know it's quite cold, isn't it? But it's a nice feeling on a day like today. It's very humid, huh? I know. I almost thought about running the air conditioner just to pull some of the humidity out. But at the same time, while it might be very slightly uncomfortable, Secretly, I'm also very excited that it's warm enough to be slightly uncomfortable. Here we are. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now I'm just going to wipe off the ears and just make sure they're dry, okay? Use a little tissue to dry off the ears. I'll start by just the 
anything here. I'll be mostly looking for any patches of dry mitts or maybe some discoloration in the skin. Or a couple of signs that there may be something going on. And then we'll kind of well, we'll use a tool to diagnose the hair and I don't mean diagnose in the medical sense at all. It's just more that we're pinpointing the areas that we need to work on. Medical therapy, hair acupuncture, reflexology, all of that is not intended to diagnose. That's for that's for your doctors to do. If you have any concerns, you should definitely check them. This is just a complementary treatment to more minor things, right? Okay. So, I'm just going to stop with that. And then we will work on inspecting the ears. palpation as well. Just to see if there are any little signs that that uh, help us guide us in the right direction. Okay. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and check the other side. And off the bat, I see. Okay, so there's a little, there's a little bit of discoloration right in the bone of the ear here. In the, that's somewhat of the digestive region of the ear. A lot of digestion organs are located in that area. That might be something that we'll that we'll take a look at. So you said that you've been suffering from some insomnia as of late and some stress. Is there any other symptoms that you're having with that? Any anxiety or any any more physical symptoms? this tool. So, this looks to be fairly innocuous, nothing special, but I'm going to use this little bulb tip right here to press on different points in the ear, and I just want you to let me know if they are tender or if you feel any pain, if you get any so sort of reaction, I want you to let me know. Okay? Okay, so I'm just going to start. Let's see. I'm just going to press along the ear. We'll just we'll just palpate around the whole ear. Okay, so just 
just just let me know if anything feels wrong, okay? Just working on the head here. Parts of the face. Any tenderness at all? No? Okay. We're gonna come back around and I'm gonna feel around. Let's see. Let's go to the cervical vertebra. thoracic vertebra okay, and the lumbar doing okay? okay I'm just gonna come back feel around the arms elbow here again. Right here. Okay. All right. So the liver point, I can see that. That makes sense. Uh, what about the stomach here? It's very close. Okay. That's also a little, a little tender. The stomach point right there. Okay. That makes sense to me because oftentimes stress and anxiety affect the digestive area, and especially in auriculotherapy, reflexology, acupuncture, and whatnot, it's said that your liver holds stress and your stomach's affected. Generally, it's the liver first and then the rest of the digestive system also is affected, which I imagine if one has had a lot of stress or anxiety, you're well aware on how it can wreak havoc on on the digestive system, a lot of pain, right? So that, that makes sense. We're just gonna keep working down the digestive tract here. Okay, there's the kidneys right there. Doing okay. Reproductive organs. Okay. okay, I'm gonna press on the Shen Min point right here. Oh, okay. Quite tender. Alright. So that's one of your calming points. Shenmin is a great point for headaches and migraines, but it also is made tender by stress and insomnia. Let me, let me test your ear apex point right here. Ooh, okay. A little tender there. Alright, well, I think we found our areas where our seeds will go, but I'm gonna check your other ear as well, okay? Alright, so we're going to do the same process as before. I'm gonna work on the head first, along the lobe, and just pressing. Okay. Okay. Let's feel up here along for the facial spots. Okay. All right. Then we'll keep moving along in the neck and along the different vertebrae of the spine. 
toward the ear here. Okay. No tenderness? Alright. Let's see. Let's go ahead and just work on the legs and the feet then. Okay. We're going to start working on the, the inner part of the ear. Work on your heart and your lungs down to the down to the digestive system. Okay. Okay. So that's a little tender. That's your that's the stomach area right there, and then right here is the liver. Okay. So bilateral bilateral reaction there. Okay. So that's very good though that we found those spots. So now we're going to be putting on your ear seeds. So we have our four different areas. We have our liver, our stomach, our shen min, and our ear apex right at the top here. So, two will go right on the inside of the ear here, and then you'll have one right between the top of the helix and the bowl of the ear, right, right there. And then the ear apex at the top here. Right there. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our seeds here. And we'll just apply those. So I'm just going to pull that out of the, the paper backing and then we're going to start. place your shenmen point and then I'll go right right there I'm just going to press on that and your ear apex point okay and that goes right at the top I'm just going to press into those and make sure that they're secure. There we go. Excellent. So, I'm going to get our other seeds and we're just going to place those in the other ear. I'll just place them in the same spot. Now, in Your two ears have different spots, they're different maps. However, I just want to give that extra support to those areas and just make sure that we are really targeting the areas that correspond to, to your stress, to your insomnia. 
skin has much efficacy as we can. There we go. Two more. to very gently press on all of the on all the ear seeds and make sure they are secure. Okay. I think that looks really good. So as I said in the beginning of the treatment, ear seeds only last for about three to seven days and to really get the best results with those I want you to just press on them about one to two times a day, okay? You just have to give them a little squeeze. You can even just roll your fingers a little bit on those points, okay? And that'll give you the, the best results with those, all right? So they are waterproof. You can shower with them. You can go about your day however you wish, okay? Just going to jot down what we found today and what we what we did with those ear seeds, the points that we had addressed. So then if you come back then we have a little record of what all we did. Okay. Anything else I can do for you today? Okay, well, I really hope that this treatment aids you in your sleep endeavors and hopefully will help lower your stress levels a bit, okay? Thank you so much for coming in to the Kailum Wellness Retreat today. I really appreciate yeah, I really appreciate having you here. Rather, English does not come easy today. <laughs> I hope you have a whale of a day, and I hope you have a good rest of your night.